Hi friends, today I will be discussing a very interesting and very important problem of classical mechanics. This is a falling chain problem. So what the problem statement is? A chain of mass m and length l is suspended vertically with its lower and touching uh, weighting scale. Means a chain will be falling on a weighting scale. We will draw that diagram of course. The chain is released and falls freely onto the scale. Neglecting the size of individual links, what is the reading of the scale when its length x of the chain has fallen? Well, let's see then uh, what uh, the problem actually means and what you need to do. So, well, uh, I will write the diagram here. Let's see. This is, say, this is your rating scale and uh, the chain is was initially like this I say this this was the chain initial that i say the initial position now the chain will be released and the chain will fall say right now the chain is this and some amount of the chain has already been fallen. So the x amount of chain has been fallen. So this much length which has already been fallen to the weighting scale, this is your x. So this is the scale, this is the chain. This x was suppose this much x which was initially not lying on the scale just was hanging and this was of course was done by some support initially and now this chain this x has been that much x has been fallen here I, I delete this chain has been fallen here that much so then what is the scale here so your initial guess will be initial guess will be that uh, total length is m and total length the uh, total mass is m and length is l so that was l so mass per unit length stream by L so mass of length L is x uh, sorry mass of length x is x into m by L so weight of this is weight of this is of course x m by l into g but that is not answered this is just weight of the mass falling this is weight of mass falling now the second component which will be contributing uh, into the weight is the impact force or uh, the another force which will be the rate of change of momentum. First component is this. Well, fine. This is the weight. First component is this. This is the weight of the mass falling. And the second component which will contribute into the reading of the scale will be the momentum imparting on the scale so we will write we will change the uh, pen color so that you know this the second component of weight will be the 
momentum imparting or delivering done delivered on the scale per unit time so which means per second some momentum is being delivered and that is also a force so the impact force i will again change the pen color the impact force this f is dp dt the rate of change of momentum per unit time uh, in in that uh, waiting scale well so this f is dp dt this is t dt of mv so then at certain time the velocity is fixed this is dp dt at certain time at what time at the time when the x length has already been fault or just been fallen so this is evaluated at this is evaluated at at the time when x length has fallen so then the mass is being changed not the velocity so this is v dm dt and what is uh, dm dt i will need a new slide <laughs> so what is uh, this uh, dm dt dm dt is uh, nothing the mass which is being fault at per unit second well i'll give you a new slide so say your this much length will fall in one second what you will do say this much will fall in one second so what will be this this will be velocity of course this length is velocity velocity is the movement per unit time in one second how much distance it goes so this is the velocity in that particular moment the velocity will determine how much length will fall so this is the velocity so mass falling so if uh, the mass per unit length is m by l mass per unit length is m by l so mass of the chain fed in fall per second is m by l into the velocity well this is dm dt and your this v is the variable this is the variable which means changes with time well so then your weight weight will be your first component was fine m by l and gx and the second component is this dm dt and equal this dm dt is we have already know what dm dt is m l i v m by l v and uh, sorry no, this uh, there is another v there so v so this will be m l g x plus v square m by l 
so now then what v square is this is conservation of energy velocity at the time when x length has fallen how we will determine we will determine by conservation of energy that initially that much was my chain right now this is the chain so this uh, the length which has already fallen here this is the x length say this much of x length has been fallen so the conservation the mass of that uh, x length is mass of chain falling power is m by l x so here we using the potential energy pe change is the x length mass x length mass mg ke is half of m v square so this will equal to this so this is mg there is another x mgh so we'll equal this we'll sorry we will just equal this pe and ke this gives us half of x m by l v square equals to x m by l gx this gives you v square equals to 2gx this is simple result so using this we will see so using this result you see the weight is m by lgx plus you put v square here to gx into m by l so this comes to gx m by l so we will add these two and my final result will be weight 3 mg x by l so this is the answer my handwriting will improve definitely slowly and my plan of the writing slides will also improve right now there is some uh, <laughs> some other uh, you know there are many things to improve so well uh, thank you so much for watching this video i will again come with some problems well